It's summertime, which means while Europe battles a mega heatwave, Britain is in its fourth week of rain. So who can blame fans for heading to the literal sunlit uplands of Europe to watch a few friendly matches, albeit a bit too sunlit at the moment? Meanwhile, you might not have even noticed, but the European tournaments restarted before Manchester City's hangover had even worn off. Four Faroese teams in Europe, three in the Conference League, one in the Champions League, all joining at the first qualifying rounds. First things first, let's round up all the Faroese goals in the first legs, starting with this penalty. And that completes the roundup of Faroese goals in the first legs. Oichinga Goethe were already 2 0 down to Andorra inside into Club Descal before that strike, and it leaves them with much to do in the second leg. All three other matches finished 0 0. B36 kept Estonian side Paidi Lenemiskund at bay. HB shut out Derry City, and in the Champions League, Klaxwick kept a noteworthy clean sheet against Hungarian giants Ferenc Veros at Vizupa Moira. Note though that all these games were home ties, so without a goal on home soil, those second legs might prove a difficult day out, especially that trip to Hungary, don't look at the video title. As we're so low on goals for the first legs, let's watch Solvi Vattenhammer's penalty again. Textbook. But could Vojcinka turn it round? back on the islands. Disappointingly, they couldn't. Sasha Andrews' last goal for Interclub won them the Andorran Cup back in May, and he was on hand again here to ruin Wojcinga's night in Nuragota. Another Wartenhammer penalty equaled things on the night, but unfortunately it wasn't enough, and Wojcinga got to go out at the first hurdle. Over at the Brandywell, things weren't going very Brandywell at all for HB against Derry City. Former Manchester City youth player Sadu Diallo couldn't score in nine appearances for Forest Green Rovers, but found their net halfway through the second half here. HB couldn't find their goal, and once again, HB go out at the first stage. Meanwhile, in Estonia, B36 and Paidi had played out 180 minutes without a goal, and they'd gone into extra time. And within five minutes of extra time kicking off, B36 were 2-0 up. Clearly just a bit annoyed at having to play an extra half hour. Eli Nielsen finally broke the deadlock and just a few minutes later, Mikhail Pryszybowski doubled their lead, from which there was no way back for Paidi. Next up for B36, a trip to Wales, to play Haverford West County. And to round off our summary, let's go to Budapest, where Klagswig would surely get toppled by the Hungarian giants in their own sweltering backyard. 3-0, the final score. To the away team! Klaxwick defied all odds and logic, and within 45 first half minutes, they were 3 0 up. Arnie Fredericksburg, who hadn't scored in any of his 19 previous European appearances, chalked up two a penalty, and then a tap in, and then to cap it off, this completely weird goal from Luke Cassie, one which experienced goalkeeper Dennis Dibush won't look back on fondly, and neither did the home crowd. No more goals in the second half, and Klaxwick, for the first time ever, win a Champions League tie over two legs and go through to the second qualifying round. Within hours of the full-time whistle, Ferenc Varos sacked their manager. People hate losing to Peruese teams, don't they? Anyway, Klagswig will go on to play Swedish side BK Hacken, who are currently second in the Ausfenskan, one point off league leaders Ausborg. They have scored 42 goals in 16 games, and Klagswig have scored 44 goals in 16 games. So fingers crossed for an absolute goal fest. Hacken have never played a Faroese team, and last time Klagswig took on Swedish opposition, they lost 5-0 to AIK back in 2017. Much better placed for better things this time though. And that's you all up to date. Two in, two out. We say goodbye to HB, as usual, and we say goodbye to Vojinga Goethe as well. B36 march on, as do the impressive Klagswig, who have a few eyes of Europe on them now. Come back for my next video, whenever that is, I'm not sure, I haven't thought that far ahead, and I'll see you next time, tech for watching!